Hey there, SharkDeasel85 at gmail.com. Well, another battery video. Uh, got a new toy here, and got the old, good old Fluke out, Fluke 110. Uh, today's a uh, beautiful uh, December, oh, I think today's December, actually I gotta go back and look at the calendar. It is, uh, has to be December 11th. Um, <laughs> lost track of time, I'm sick all week. Anyways, uh, what we got here is I'm trying to just maintain this battery up a little bit here. I'm going to get the, uh, the, uh, fluke on it here real quick. I just want to test the, uh, see if I can get in one of these holes here. Right, right there. And right there should be good. And we're getting around 13.56 volts. And thing's saying it's fully charged, so... What this device does, I just got it, uh, I don't want to go too much on a uh, rant here. Uh, this is a uh, solar, it's a, a BA9 uh, system tester, there it is. Um, talked to a couple uh, friends that do uh, battery testing and, um, f you know, without getting really expensive, these devices can get really expensive really quick. There's all kinds of stuff, you get ones that print junk out, give you these nice pretty little graphic displays and whatnot. But, uh, at the end of the day, it does all the same math and everything, and how it all works is just about the same. Um, so th this, this unit here, it's, um, it's not carbon pile or anything like that, it's, um, it's an electronic unit, so it, it's, uh, most of the uh, newer technologies are all electronic anyways, none of that carbon pile testing and stuff like that, so, um, yeah, in any event, um, uh, a couple friends uh, that work on batteries recommend uh, re recommended this device to me, and it was around. Uh, I paid list price is uh, I think a hundred quid, quid, and uh, this I paid uh, uh, seventy four ninety nine for it. So it's not a bad uh, little device to have in my uh, arsenal. So, anyways, uh, enough ranting. And actually, it's uh, kind of nice. It actually gives you some helpful diagnostic stuff on the back if you forget what something means so it's kind of uh, handy to have so take these leads off of here we will turn this off set the off I'm gonna disconnect this here try and do it through the viewfinder is like ridiculous so um, let me see here part of my uh, let me set this down for a second I did such a good job at, I was just fooling around with this when I was showing it to somebody earlier that I was, uh, <laughs> right, so there we go. Let me hook that up real quick, and I'll actually, uh, show you what it does powering on and stuff, so I'll hook up the positive first. Wait, it's hard to do the three, uh, and you always want to, you always want to test the battery, usually out of the, out of the vehicle anyways, or out of the device that you're, just to make sure you're not getting any parasitic losses, that out of the way. So right now we're saying uh, it's saying 12.66, and it's going, uh, it basically asks me what I want to do. And you do cranking, you can do a battery test, you do a cranking, you know, an alternator test, and all this kind of stuff on here. We're more interested in the uh, battery test. Okay, it's a sealed lead acid battery, there's all kinds of different settings you can set this on. Um, oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Let's see, uh... Let me just restart to test here. It's just easier if I do that. There we go. And there's no, the cool thing is there's no batteries in this. So anyways, try this again. That, uh, capacity, cold cranking amps, we want 850. So, I'm going to set this to 850. Come on. Okay. You can actually hear the thing test. All right, so that is what we got. It only takes a couple seconds to test, and it says it's uh, bad. Okay, this this battery is uh, where's the date stamp on it? 2009, uh, July 8th of 2009. The way I got that marked. I think that you saw that in the other videos. Uh, 96 percent, but it's uh it's got a little bit of uh, resistance going on there so it's a little bit of a high resistance there and uh state of health is 42 percent it's not good 
and it's, th it's only going to be putting out 362 cold cranking amps. So, this battery is, uh, shitty. So, it's not good. Yeah, not good at all. Uh, I'm just curious to see if I throw the 1000 in there. And to go back, you can either hit enter and it'll go back. And then you can, uh, oh, we'll do just go back, seal that acid, cool cranking amps. And we're, I'm going to pump it up to 1000 because it says it's got 1000. And this, this unit also reads out the ambient temperature in the room. So, let's see here. Okay. Yeah, definitely bad. Let me find 8.5. 36%. So, definitely, uh, it's got some issues going on here. But, as you can see, it's got 12.5 uh, volts on it. But as soon as you load it, load it up, it, uh, it's a bad battery. That one down there, I want to test that a little bit too. I'm going to throw that on charge. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind is when you do, uh, when you do uh, test these things, you got to make sure that they're charged. Like, I just pulled this right off the charger, and it should it should be pretty darn close to 850. Um, so, yeah, this one's uh, ready for the heap, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. So, if I were to... And there's a difference here. There's uh, cranking amps and then cold cranking amps. So, so, this device, if I go back to here, we're just going to test something here. So, lead, we're going to set it to cranking amps, 1,000... We're going to test it again. Oh, yeah. So it's got 443. Yeah, say to charge. You can see how quickly it's going down. Uh, 44. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's right about right. So, yeah, not, uh, not, 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 not looking good for this thing. So, and it uh, clearly tells you it's bad. Very, very handy device. Very handy device. Very safe, very uh, intrinsic. So, uh, we're going to test this one, saying we're battery, it's a 65, so, uh, yeah, stay tuned, uh, I'll do another video real quick, I'll post this one up, and then I'll do another quick video, uh, a minute or two video, and, uh, go on with it, so, um, uh, very handy tool, it's a, again, it's a solar, uh, BA9 device there, uh, and even test little batteries like that, it goes down all the way to 40, and that, that sucker back there is, um, around, uh, oh, eh, it's 5 amp hour, so it's, you know, somewhere around 75 uh, cc, so somewhere around there. So, but this will test all the way down to 4, pretty much any 12 volt system, it'll test. So, uh, which is pretty cool. Especially handy if you have those uh, 12 volt um, uh, NICADs, too. This will test NICADs, too, as long as it's a 12 volt system. Uh, it'll test banks as well, so you can see how that voltage is going right down. I'm actually going to run it through a test again. Keep it at the uh, cranking amps, thousand. There you go. Yeah, so four, four, six, point five. Yeah, so not looking good. Um, while we got it out, I'm gonna turn that off. And you don't have to really do anything special with the unit. You can just uh, unplug it. Uh, there's no batteries in it, so that's really good. There's some neat ones I was looking at that were uh, a little bit higher. So that's ready for the to get recycled. So fortunately, I, was, I need to get. I want to get some good batteries around here to keep on stock, but fucking expensive. So this one, this one doesn't really have a good charge. I'm charging about uh, I don't know a week and a half, and uh, so I'm gonna hook this back up. And I'm doing it a little bit ass backwards here, but that's yeah, right for the video. So we got 12.4 volts. Uh, again, it hasn't been charged in a while. And again, this is the most important thing. Is you got to charge the thing before you you do anything. So uh, yeah. So anyways, put battery test on it. Sealed lead. Uh, we'll keep it at a thousand. Uh, we already know what that is. Do it. Yeah, it's saying it's bad, but it also could mean because it's not uh, charged. But the yeah, the, the it's not too bad. Say the hell. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go back, check. Uh, we didn't say it was a fifty. 
I like how responsive this thing is too. It's very, very nice unit. And we got, yeah, 12.8, so 550. So it's only putting out, yeah, so. Yeah, so it's, uh, I think it just needs a charge. Find out though. So, um, you know, again, this thing's been sitting around for a little while. So th it can skew your results too if the battery has a charge. I still think this is a good battery, kind of, but I'm a little bit worried that it's swollen there. So this one might be ready for the heat too. But uh, I'm going to give it one last chance and see what it's going to come out. This is a very accurate tester, too, I found out. So, um, you can tell me if these uh, batteries are rubbish or not. So, anyways, uh, stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. Diesel85 at gmail.com, and uh, have yourself a great day.